here's the thing. I just we, I would like some candor from the internet about what is the internet, right? The internet, right, is just this thing that lives in your pocket and feeds you a steady stream of racism so that you'll look at more ads. You know what I mean? That's basically what it is at this point because that's what they figured made you stare at the screen. That's what they would, that's what they figured out would do it. Sex and like racism, right, will make you stare at the screen. And that's the thing, it's like, that's why on the internet you could just be a professional racist. Do you know about this? Like, you can just be a professional racist on the internet, right? Like, do you know about these guys, the, the Proud Boys? Yeah, they, no, they call themselves the, a straight male chauvinist group, and they all get together in designer polos and then go on little marches. And, like, look, I'm from San Francisco, so I have some strong feelings about guys in designer polos who go on marches and whose interests include pride and boys, you know? <laughs> Just saying. HBO was going to have a show called Confederate. Did you know about this? Yeah, it was a show called, they were going to have a show called Confederate. And in this show, Confederate, it was an alternative history. Like, there's alternative facts. This was going to be an alternative history, right? And in this alternative history, the South wins the Civil War. They're in charge, and slavery, still legal. Right? Yeah. Wow, I know. Like, that's pretty heavy, man. Like, like can't these people just watch college football, man? <laughs> It's kind of the same thing, you know? I <laughs> told you it was going to be dark, man. I'm just saying, like, look, in real life, you cannot just get a job being a professional racist. On the internet, you can just get a job being a professional racist. You know what I mean? Like, no, in the real world, one job, Tucker Carlson. He's got it, right? It's over. <laughs> But on the internet, like, you can just be a professional internet racist. Like, do you know about this guy, Craig Cobb? This dude, Craig Cobb. No, this guy, Craig Cobb. He decided that he was going to buy the town of Leith, North Dakota. And he was going to turn it into a whites-only Aryan wonderland in North Dakota. Right? And now to drum up support for this cause, right, he decided that he was going to go on the Dr. Phil show and get his DNA tested. Right? And that, yeah, exactly. This guy goes on a Dr. Phil show, gets his DNA tested, and guess what? Craig Cobb, black. noted white nationalist, is 20% black. Oh. And ain't that some, like, poetic justice, you know what I mean? Like, on Monday, you are setting up your whites-only Aryan wonderland, and on Friday, you are North Dakota's blackest brother, you know what I'm saying? 